going on there. And I understand as though, well, we saw with Francis Check how unpredictable and erratic the African fighters can be, but what Ernest Amos he brings to the table here. Yeah, he's got him with a left jab, but Jinder took a left jab there. He's the knockout king, Ernest Amos, who won 21 of his first by knockout. And as you said, Patrick, the Vijinda has not had the best of training. You know, though, that can make a vital difference because uh, this is a 10 round bout. Each round of three, uh, three minutes. Yeah, of course, we've only had four rounders and six rounders up until now, but this is championship boxing. This is boxing four titles. And it's the second time Patrick is fighting an African boxer. We both were there at the Tiagrat Stadium last year, taking on a Ghanaian opponent. Uh, who also represented the Ghanaian uh, amateur boxing team in the Olympics. Of course, Vijinder, the first Indian to win a medal in boxing at the 2008. I was there at Beijing, a bronze medal. Slopes up by both of them, Henry and uh, Ernest Amizu and Vijinder Singh. Seizing each other up, a bit like a chess battle. Very cautious. Little to choose in the first round. The crowd urging them on for more action. Amazon trying to seize the initiative. Vijinder has very good technique, very good defense. The top of course, Nobby says not too much video of his fights fighting around. So Vijinder's had to be wary. He might just take his first couple of rounds to touch him up and feel out what's going on. Like, that's the atmosphere <laughs> we've got here. A tremendous atmosphere, absolutely. And uh, Lapping it up, uh, the citizens of Jaipur and from nearby cities, they've all come here for the rumble in Rajasthan, the Rajasthan rumble. Uh, very even first round. Very even indeed. Not much happening to be fair, but one thing's for sure, Ernest Amazu, we saw with Francis Checker, he really was erratic. I know the story came out afterwards that he hurt the roof of his mouth, Checker, and that's what led to him being a bit frustrated and upset. But Ernest Amazu is coming forward here. He's certainly not being knocked back by Virginia. His own, but he's taken the defensive route. <laughs> Ernest Amazu, when he's been smiling all week in the build up to this at the press conference and everything, but at the end of the first round, look, oh, Ernest yeah. Amazu having the clap. Second round, stay it up. You see, three minutes. Yeah, I don't think you could split them in the first round. Oh, Amazu throwing a big heavy left there to start things off. Virginia has ever protecting himself at all times with that guard up. Yes. But anyone that thought Amazu was going to come here and roll over and have his tummy tickled has already been proved wrong. He's standing strong and he's standing tall at the moment. He certainly is, Patrick, and it's not like Francis Shekhar a year ago, who just keeled over in the third round. Amazu proving to be a tough nut to crack, the Ghanaian boxer. And Vijinder keeping that high guard. As you rightly said, Vijinder really doesn't know much about Amazu. And so he's trying to seize him up, trying to find out the weaknesses. What is the Achilles heel? Where is he vulnerable? And let's be brutally honest here, Nobby. It's important that Vijinder sends a message out here. They're talking about Commonwealth titles and world title shots. We want to see the knockout king, and that's what Vajinder is. We want to see him here. I think stop this man. Remember, he went to points against my Chiari. He sailed very close to the win with that decision. I think it's important that Vajinda really makes a statement here. He started solid enough. And Amazu, look, Vajinda pushing through that left jab, followed by the right uppercut. And the crowd centered already. And taking the head from Amazu. He says he's not hurt. Yes, but Vijinda didn't follow it up. He had the right uppercut. Now, Amazu comes back fighting, all guns blazing. They get into a clinch. The referee, the Thai referee will separate them. Yes, Mahmoud Ali was really quite unhappy. It was a very close decision at Mumbai in August. That was 5th August 2017. That was also a Saturday. Well, Vijinda having a better second round. Yeah, he's having a smile to himself there, Vijinda, isn't he? Remember the showboat in the hand behind the back against... Francis Checker, we know Virginia concern on the style. Such a graceful boxer. Oh, he anticipated something from Amuju that didn't come there. But already you can see evidence it's going to be a very cagey contest. It's going to be a cagey contest. Amazu certainly no pushover. And Virginia, above all, is a very cerebral boxer. Very intelligent, looking for openings. Uh, doesn't get aroused by the crowd, doesn't get excited that if they want him to go for a kill, that he loses defense. He's become a total professional. That is the hallmark of Vijinder's boxing. Amazu there, lost his balance for just a moment. After that right hand, hit nothing but air. He tries to pull the punch back mid-flight and it almost killed him. Oh, well, I got through there, Vijinder with the right. Vijinder got through there, Amazu says, you're not hurting me, but he's getting through. 
As long as he gets through, it doesn't matter if he doesn't hurt him. They're scoring punches, Novi. Yes, it's quite, I think he's had a better second round, ending it well in the last 18 seconds. Now Amazu coming back, realizing that he's done very little in the second round, but Vijinder with a longer reach, keeping him at a distance, gets into a clinch. Amazu's claiming that he's not hurt at all. You know, lots of gamesmanship by both boxers. Vijinder with a straight left. As we come to the end of the second round, this is a 10-round bout. Two titles at stake. Well, raising his hand is Amazu. Third round, fantastic instructions. Are we going to see a quicker pace in the third round? They get into a clinch. But it's so, certainly got quicker in the second from the first, Nobby. So maybe it's building up to a crescendo. Let's hope it's a far he finish in Vajinda's favour. But Amazu is no back number here. Yes, he's been beaten twice, but he's never been knocked out. And that, I think, is what I want to see Vajinda try and do. Become the first man to knock this guy out. Uh, yes, and he's got 21 knockouts himself. So he's, uh, he's got a powerful finish. Amazu, he may be 34 year old, but he has a long career in boxing, over a decade in amateur and professional boxing. Uh, the referee also very clear. Again, the, you know, ring slipping a bit. Yeah, that's a, obviously a five one. We've had a lot of blood on the ring as well today, as well as the water in the corners. But listen to the crowd. I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Just soak this noise up. Oh, oh, oh. oh up again there with the right. Are you shaking that time? He's still shaking the head and says no. But I'm not buying it as Virginia dances around the ring. And now Virginia is moving up again. A good defensive work by Virginia because when Amazon swung that right, he ducked away. Now both boxers looking to trade blows in the center of the ring. The referee full credit to him. He's not allowing them to clinch, asking them to box on. Vijinder has seized the initiative in the third round. I think he's definitely shading, the, shading this third round so far, about midway through the third round. Uh, can Amazu come back? Vijinder, long reach. No boxer yet seizing the initiative going forward. Just very wary of each other, giving each other lots of respect. Oh, that went downstairs. That one, I think he's got to play with one there, Vijinder. One to the body, and then one that I think went below the belt. But let the jab now. This was always Virginia's great strength as an amateur. Working that left jab. Yes, he leads with his left jab. That's his strength. And with a uh, quick silver left jab. And good defense, good technique. Amazon not being able to get the blows in. Though he's piling on the pressure. Very earnest is earnest Amazon in, in his approach. Aptly named, Mr. Amazon. The earnest one. It's certainly not come here just to roll over and have his tummy tickled. He's going to put up a fight here, but Virginia up the ante there, this is definitely a third round, that's going the way of the Indian for me, Nobby, what for you? Uh, yes, actually, he's throwing those left jabs very well, quick silver left jabs, and with Amazon who's now stalking him, trying to come back into the third round, trying to finish the third round get powerfully, but Vijinder's, well, keeping a low guard, now a right left hook by Vijinder. Amazon not having his own way, not able to penetrate Vijinder's defense, I think that would be a cause of concern to Amazon's camp. Uh, but Vijinder not yet really quick silver, throwing those left jabs from a distance, moving away as we approach the last 10 seconds of the third round. Doesn't connect with the left jab, is Amazon. Vijinder again swinging wildly at the end of the third round. Amazon looks to be flying for me, that was a great round for Vijinder yeah. Had a decent start, but there were signs in that last round of it. I think that Amazon was beginning to feel some of those shots that the Jinder Singh was laying in. Well, neither boxer really being able to land very telling low. Vijinder now seizing the initiative a bit more, showing that a good work, leading with his left, with the left jab. Amazon comes back with a powerful left jab. Vijinder knows he has to be fortunate. Amazon quickening the pace somewhat. Vijinder getting in a left, doesn't connect. Swaying. Excellent technique by Vijinder as always, since his 2008 Beijing Olympics bronze medal, he's always shown excellent technique. The yeah, great yeah. thing about Vijinder, he always looks so calm, doesn't he? Very looks, that fight is not like that, was the first time since he's a professional, I've seen him under any pressure, and he managed to come through that. And here we go again, a lovely three-point combination. Again, Amazon shakes the head to say he wasn't hard, but these point-scoring punches for Vijinder mm. are beginning to... Top, and it's going to impress the judges. He's definitely ahead of my kind at the moment. Uh, yes, Patrick, these are points for the punches. He may not have hurt Amazon, but it's the points that matter. And what you rightly said, Vijinder's phlegmatic temperament. This goes in his favor. He never chose 
excitement, concern, nervousness. What I say when I say points, obviously, for those of you new to professional boxing, this isn't scored, of course, like the amateur bout. The Virginia excelled in for the Indian Olympic and Commonwealth Games team. I'm talking about the points of the judges' award. If Virginia wins the round, it will be scored 10 9 for me. And then, of course, again, it's a knockdown in the round, it will be a 10 8 round more for the knock. So, I just think definitely for me, he's won three of the four rounds so far in the uh, yeah, probably, definitely, yeah, I would give the edge, definitely two rounds and not three, and he's having the edge in this third round, uh, in this fourth round also, because he's managing to connect. Amazon's defensive work has to be complemented also. Very much, that's a great point, he's keeping his guard up, but I just sense the, the uh, I don't think it was him being cocky or arrogant, because he's a very nice, smiling guy, and so he's been around that hotel with the giant ball, but he can't surely keep inviting the gym to go forward, because even though... They're being blocked by his hands, they're still coming through to make contact to the face, and if he takes four of them, won't be too long before he gets a cut, or his face starts to swell up. It's not an all-action bout. They, they are very cagey, both <coughs> fighting each other. Oh, it's the moment art no, he doesn't always have to be a slug face. Slug face, the idea is to hit and not be hit. Yeah, not hit and let yourself be hit. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, that's what it is, and Vijinder excels in this technique. He's very good defensive work. And of course, don't... Don't, don't forget, just two weeks ago, James DeGale, the world champion at super middleweight for the IBF, he went into a contest against Blake Anastamazu, a fighter that many people didn't consider worthy, and he lost his world title on points. We don't win that fight. Then it fought Virginia tonight, and so far, so good. The champ in charge after round four. He it's on by earlier in the year, and I still have a question after Virginia thinks fitness is a very... Short camp is having a build up for this fight. They announced it very late once they get the fight done before Christmas. And they should hope Virginia's got the stamina for the later rounds. It looks like now they might come. Uh, yes, you're right. Will history repeat itself? We saw Mai Batali coming back very strongly at the Sultan Patel Bandabai Stadium on August 5th. And when, when Amazon's an older bo uh, boxer, the Chinese boxer was much younger. I think that's been one of Virginia's best stuff. Uh, over here, he's dictating the pace. Not really causing the tempo. It's a very cagey bout. Causing very cleverly, I think, we did that over here. Oh, going to the right the got almost there. Amazudo trying to fight fire with fire, coming forward himself with a jab at Virginia. You can tell that training that Lee Beard and John Williams have put into it since they arrived in India 10 days ago is really the main evidence. He got to work. And then we finally get three of combinations from Virginia. A very good combination, and for me, what is important is he's not getting swayed by the emotions of the crowd who are wanting to have a knockout. He's trying to pile up the points. He's oh, worked in for the first time here, Nobby. There's no shake of the head saying, No, I'm not hurt from Amazon now. Well, midway through the fifth round, both boxers trading blows. We did that again blocking. They get into a clinch, the referee separates them, wants them to box on. Excellent supervision by the Thai official uh, soccer chum. Straight leg jab. That leg jab is causing Amazon all sorts of problems. Certainly so. That's been the hallmark of Virginia's success tonight. So far. Oh, now Virginia has something in his eye here, is he? What's happened here? He's saying a headbutt, I think. Well, he's saying a headbutt here. Let's have a look at Virginia's head. Is there blood coming from it? Let's hope not. Oh my word, what drama here. I think it was accidental. Virginia's accepted it. But that's not what we wanted to see. Virginia, who bled heavily from the nose in his last fight, now with a potential cut to deal with on his temple. Yes, you're right. Uh, right. The Chinese also, there was that. But this was probably a headbutt. But here, yeah, now trying to walk ahead. Oh, oh, my word, that's another great combination. But Amazon pointing back. Connecting with a right and a left. Interesting fifth round. Well, there's no question now who's on top here. Virginia Singh has taken for me in the last four rounds straight. And I think for the first time as well, there's signs that he could be the first man to knock out Amazu. Well, let's see. There's still a long way to go. Virginia also has to be cautious. He doesn't get that cut hurt up, you know, uh, further. Because the end of the fifth round, uh, all action round, really. Past the halfway mark with Virginia Singh for me in front of the scorecard. But it was a danger that Amazu could land a punch. Remember, there was an accident that clashed ahead in that last round as well, which seemed to trouble Virginia. 
And he's starting to invite with some pretty attractive looking combinations now. Yes, we're moving into the second half of the bout now. See what he's doing. See what he's doing. This is the fifth and seventh half. See what he's doing. 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 See what he's can he finish it off? Amazon now hanging on for dear life. A minute 51 left in the six. Can we to finish it now? They get into a clinch. Amazon in a spot of bother and Vijinder goes on the aggression. Manages to connect a few blows, but Vijinder being very clever now, not going for the kill. He knows he's taken the initiative in the sixth round. Now retreating. He's done enough to win the sixth round. Now Amazon has to make the comeback. Amazon is trying some punches now, but there's not much weight behind them. Virginia Singh, despite our concerns that a shortened camp is looking very sharp indeed here. And a couple of those big shots in that previous exchange definitely hurt the Ghanaian. But can Virginia finish it off before the end of the sixth with just over a minute to go? He's slowed down the pace, as you say, no, we're not taking the too many unnecessary risks, but what is Amazon doing here? Yes, you know, I think Amazon is the one that might be casting first here. Uh, he's holding on, but Vijinder increased the tempo when he had to take in the points. Now he's trying to seize the initiative. Amazon has not been able to land the punch. I think that is what will concern his corner. Vijinder going with the right and the left. That straight right corner again and another straight right. Vijinder sinks in the end. 35 seconds left to the six. Smile on the face of Virginia Singh, what a cool customer he is. Bollywood star, expert boxer, Olympic medalist. Is there anything this man can't do? He has Asian Games gold medalist, Commonwealth Games, and Glasgow silver medalist. He's done it all in the amateur before he turned professional in 2015. And what a journey to think. 12 years ago, Virginia was in starting out with his training career, was a ticket collector in Jaipur, and now in 2017, he's a title belt collector. Well, he loved Jaipur, that's why he wanted this title bout here. Yeah. That left shot, just on the bow, another convincing round for Virginia Singh. Six down, four to go, stay with us on 36 and 27 3. Knockout here, control. The Gavin Knockout King land a telling final blow. He starts round seven, foot again, doesn't he? Yes, he started seventh round confidently. But he's going for the blows, then retreating. Amazon coming in. Vijinder gets into a glimpse. The referee separates them. Asks, us, asks them to box on. Vijinder cleverly dictating the pace and tempo of this bout. I think that's what he's really learned in professional boxing. When to increase the pace, when to increase the tempo. Using his long reach to advantage. Swaying away from Amazon. Amazon not being able to land the same punch. The only good point you make about the height advantage and the reach advantage, not because it's amazing Virginia Singh really to not put himself in too much danger. He's not having to go in close. He's just launching a, a attacking range where he goes in quickly and goes out quickly. And then there's another one there. There's not too much comeback from Amazon in the last three minutes of this fight. Yes, this has been a much more cautious seventh round. Virginia also not taking the initiative, swaying away from Amazon's left jab. But the Amazon having to do a lot of defensive work. So it's going to not really going to help him in the eyes of the judges. Vijinder leading with the left jab. But even at this stage, what well, we got three and a half rounds to go, the lead is almost becoming yeah, unassailable for me in terms of Vijinder. It's just a question of can he finish him off? Yeah, that's important. It really does seem an insurmountable lead. But uh, Vijinder, that's the greatness of his thing, that the expression on his face doesn't give away anything. He doesn't show over and his over enthusiasm. He's really learned the professional boxing very well. And of course, I remember not too long ago when he fought Kerry Hope to win the Asia Pacific title. We were worrying about Virginia, could he last 10 rounds now, of course. Since then, the checker fight didn't go the distance, but we know he can do 10 rounds after the Night Night Tiani contest. But it was a struggle for him there in the closing rounds, and we just hope that Fatigue doesn't set in. It certainly seems to have set in with Amazu, though. Less than a minute to go in the seventh. I think he's been much more impressive here, though maybe not as fit. Mainatani caused him a lot of trouble in Mumbai. 
begin the last at the distance over here but again when Amazon hasn't really forced the pressure so much Amazon has been defending all the time and in the second round also it's been Bijinder who's controlled the pace of the bout in the center of the ring forcing Amazon to go round and round uh, neither boxer landing really a telling blow in the seventh round which has been a very defensive round uh, Bijinder can he end on a oh he went a bit right there didn't quite connect Billy but Amazon is now covering up Oh, Bajinder going to the right and another right. And still Amazon, to his credit, comes back. But Bajinder seems going to slow this face. He knows that he's got the measure of Amazon. Again, going, not connecting. And at the bell, it's definitely Bajinder's round. Yeah, Bajinder wins. Bajinder is cautious. He's not wanting to seize the initiative. He is also yeah, conscious same. of Amazon's reputation of being a knockout king himself. So I think he is content to one. get this part, yeah. get this title out. Which will be his one. tenth win or on the clock uh, to get it on points. Vijinder now again stalking Amazon. Amazon getting himself into trouble because when he retreats, he gets into the corner of the ring. And then Vijinder very cleverly piles on the pressure and picks up points at will. Again, the left jab is ruling. Amazon is stuck there for now. But as you say, Virginia, having to let him come out, doesn't want to get too close. Great point you made, Nolik, because Virginia's success has been coming here, keeping his distance with that left jab, and then just launching brief attacking raids to make sure he wins the round, but not taking unnecessary risks. He's not taking risks, he backs away. He knows Amazon has to now do the fighting. So it's up to Amazon. Which is both now keeping a low guard as we have 1 minute 20 seconds left for the end of the 8th round. Amazon trying to get in with a couple of left jabs. Vijinder ducking, breathing. Amazon ending the yeah, round eight, but Vijinder keeping his distance now. Okay. Moving away from Amazon. He knows he's done enough to get this 8th round. In the last 60 seconds of the 8th round, Vijinda throwing a left, not connecting. Vijinda a right. Now Amazon has got a bother in the corner. How will this round end? And he tries to respond with the left of his own. Amazon there. And Vijinda comes back with a very strong right. And a blow that might have been low, but the referee's not seen that one, nor that one. And now Vijinda Singh. あ、これはね、あの、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、